Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So in this one we are gonna go through what is coming on 20th of October until 10th of November 2022. We are getting brand new, well quote unquote brand new Oscar Aya festival and what we should expect. Well pretty much copy pasted everything including rewards, quests and activities. And the only difference between this Oscar Aya festival and last year's Oscar Aya festival will be the fact we are getting couple new rewards in Norway shop in exchange for tokens. For example, a couple new weapons. Also, I believe we are gonna see another 150 opals in packs of 25, 75 and 50 opals. Speaking about the opals, I really think we are getting another 50 opals from Ubisoft Connect as a seasonal reward for free. So when Oscar Aya Festival hits live, remember to collect those opals. 20th of October 2022, we are gonna see this pop up. I believe this is gonna happen same time as Redis Reset, maybe hour or two earlier, but let's see, let's see. And like I said, we are gonna have same activities as last year. So archery, boo, <laughs> horseback riding, yay. Also, we are having the battle meditation arena. That is gonna be the best way to grind tokens so you can get every reward. But remember, do the main quests. Those are giving you from 100 to 200 tokens per quest. After the main quests, your grind will be much smaller. And the best way, like I said, it is gonna be the battle meditation arena that is giving you anywhere from 75 to 100 tokens. Remember to use every pre selected armor set that is offered to you, using those at least once are giving you extra tokens and spoilers incoming in this video. So if you didn't do the festival last year and you don't want to get spoiled, this video is not for you. Because I'm gonna help you to cross the quests as fast as possible. Also we are gonna see the cutscenes, but if you still want to see everything and get ready and prepared for this Oscar Aya festival, Thank you and keep watching. Also remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn into notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload when I go live or when I post something. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. P.S. Everything you see will be from my last year's live stream and I am planning to go live this year as well with the Oscar Aya Festival to show you everything in real time also to answer any of your questions so hopefully I will see you there wise to be wary of the gods wrath dame <laughs> but it's not by hiding that you'll evade the wild hunt I told you not to pester the locals uncle have you been in the herds again don't patronize me you little shit and you will call me Brother Maxwell like everyone else. No one calls you that. I've seen you around planting your smoking pots everywhere. The whole village smells like a seer's hut. Ooh, so Wallaka is smelling. The of the veil is weakest, letting us perceive unseen threats before they are upon us. I'm sorry, Eivor. He shows up like this without warning. I told him he could stay with me while he's here. You're right to offer hospitality. And we should mark the Wild Hunt in some way. It's a source of fear for people of both faiths. And how do you think we should mark Oskorea, Eivor? With tests of skill and strength. Like Tyr's archery range. Show the oh hunt. no, like that, no that place. Svinta is setting up another event since her last tournament was so successful. Good. Tello will use it, not to celebrate, but to prepare for the wild hunt. Tell her yourself. You're the one leading this preparation. Me? I didn't. And be sure to visit Goodman's homage to the dead. Or didn't you notice the ship in the middle of the settlement? I noticed the ship. Good. May Odin's wisdom guide you. So no parade. I have a better job for you, Bron. You'll be the judge of whose actions will impress the gods. You'll be the keeper of the tokens. I will be the best judge you have ever seen, Eivor. Go see Norvid about the tokens. Tell him I sent you, and I'll come find you later. 
My herbs, let us see the After the pop-up and this cutscene that should implicate that your festival has started, and if the cutscene won't start, try to run towards the festival area, that might help. If nothing happens after the pop-up, restart your game, restart your console, whatever it takes, and then try again. But let's see Norwich Shop from last year, Bone Raven, Hillside, sediment decorations, and of course the tattoos. For this year, there should be two weapons more, also with the 150 opals, but take that with grain of salt, I'm not sure about the opals, but definitely we are getting new weapons. Like we can see in this promotional picture, we are getting new flail and what looks like a hammer. So new hammer, really underrated weapons in my opinion. I really like the Ukon Vasara and also Mjölnir and there are so many so good hammers in the game already in Helix Store, in DLCs. So let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite hammer in the game. So let's take a look of the activities that we are gonna face in this Oscar festival and the worst one in my opinion it is gonna be the Turas Archery Challenge 2 minute timer you need to hit the, as many targets as you can and smaller the target the higher the points but still considering how awful this is the timer and the token rewards I'm just gonna say it this is not worth your grind your time if you really want the tokens really fast, but definitely this is good practice if your archer skills needs a little bit more improvement. Red ones is, are giving you more points than the green ones or the orange ones, but yeah, I really hate this challenge. Is this gonna be a fly thing? Good day, Eivor. I hear you've taken charge of the fall festival. <laughs> I look forward to... Uh... In the main festival area we are gonna see Alvin, who is actually warning us about Bronze Uncle, who's leaving flaming pots everywhere. And one of the quests, you need to find the pots, and they should be marked on your map when you are tracking the quest. That one is pretty simple. It is giving you huge amounts of tokens in exchange for completing that quest. Before we are diving into the pots and the other main quest, we are gonna see we are gonna see a quick example of the battle meditation arena. And no, this is not like mastery challenges. This is like a small, similar thing. We are meditating and battling in our mind. And like I said before, use every gear for extra tokens at least once. And like every festival. Battle arenas, brawling arenas, that is the quickest way of gaining the tokens, getting the rewards from Norwich shop. So let's dive into this one. Some of our people are anxious about the wild hunt. I want to raise their courage through contests of skill and bravery. I have the very thing. I want to recreate the chaos of battle. Our warriors will fight within the fog of war. You mean the smoke? Uh, did a monk bring those braciers? Yes, he said something about a veil I did not understand, but I find they add to the experience in surprising ways. How do you mean? I don't want to spoil it for you. Besides, it affects everyone differently. Would you like to give it a try? Yeah, let's give it a try. I'll give it a try. <coughs> All right, so pedal meditation. Let's see, let's see. But yeah, this is looking awesome. So definitely. Oh, Master in Silence Wipe, right over here. That was glitchy, but that was funny. But yeah, if you are gonna get stuck, look behind the trees. 
I wonder how much we are gonna get. Well done. Probably hundred tokens. Make it more challenging. Come back when you're ready for another round. So mastery, my gear set, plus 15 tokens and 90 tokens. So my guess for a hundred was pretty, pretty close. awesome. You got the tokens from Novit. Yes, and he gave me a basket to keep them in, but he didn't seem very happy about letting me give them out. He created the tokens and enjoys handing them out himself, but he'll be happy enough when people cash them in. So what do I do? Well, when someone offers a show of courage or a, an act of respect towards the dead, they are rewarded with tokens. All right, I see. So when they tell me of these things, I let them take from the basket. Whatever they think fair. Well, you might want to make certain rules, or at least check their claims. I won't need to. I am a good judge of character. Uh, we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Burn. When you have started everything, you will see three quests that are not gonna disappear at any point. Also, you are gonna see a couple quests that you can complete and get rid of completely from the quest list. But the three challenges, the archery one, the horseback riding and the battle meditation arena, they are gonna stay until the festival has ended. Before diving into the main quests of the festival, we are gonna see Akes, horseback riding, archery challenge, that is replayable quest where you can earn the tokens for the rewards from the Norwich shop. I'd rather deal with a horse than an ass. I'm not here to Burn. trade barbs, Aki. I've come to see what you're preparing. A challenge, Eivor. A true test of equestrian skill. There will be barriers to break, targets to hit, and a time limit. <laughs> I thought you said it would be a challenge. <laughs> It will require equal measures of skill, speed, and control. You think you have what it takes? Give me yes, we are ready. Come on, horse skin. How long is this route? I am just wondering. We have still about three minutes. Yeah. Warning challenge, quiet, okay. but... Where is the lash of your wit now? I am silenced by your show of skill. You may claim the full prize. A riding for glory. As promised, Hi. let's move on to the main quest, the home ward, where we need to find the flaming pots everywhere. After finding them, the mad monk will appear. And again, we are gonna go inside of our minds and huge spoiler warning. Follow the timestamps if you don't want to get spoiled because this will include huge spoilers. So, jump to other spot of this video, inner. but here we go. I didn't think I spoke those thoughts aloud. I know what it's like to stand on the threshold of another world. I think you grow drunk on your own fumes. Do you think it mere chance that brought you here? No. No near. Leave little to chance. Then open your mind to the worlds beyond our own, as the veil that hides them is pulled away. What would you have me see? It's not about my desires, but yours. What do you seek? I seek to protect my people from the wild hunt. You'll need to cross the veil. Face your greatest fear. Meet your own worst enemy. Greatest fear. It'll take more than herb-induced visions to terrify me. All right, so let's see. Let's see, indeed. Ooh, another battle meditation. I am betting we are gonna fight ourselves. Might I encounter? Picture. 
the spirits of the dead? This cut may wander this nether world. Alright, so let's follow the path. That is not passable. There is a force here, invisible. Oh, <laughs> all right, we have a many, many, many more. So let's see what's here. Pulled from a thread of the Nornir strand, this rune cast was sealed across the land. So these I actually did like in the main campaign. So what we need to do we need to look, the glowing thing is. And we need to find the right angle. Alright, so which, which way? So we have these right over here. There we have a few and there. So I bet this is not for nothing. So let's climb. Probably we will yeah, boom, I said this is not for nothing, so Cool, that monk wasn't so mad after all. Stand aside, spirit. I come for the rune. I do not wish to add to your grief. And the did I call this? Twin. Did I call this? Yes, I did. There is murder in its eyes. Only one ape. So, Eivor versus Eivor. Yeah, Eivor versus Eivor. This is awesome. Let's see, let's see. Defeat the Shadow Waver <sighs> for the Excalibur. So, yeah, oh, the same mark. Power protects this land from one who sheds blood for the good of the clan. The Honorable Ted. Just something into my game. This looks awesome. Yeah, definitely. The homeworld has been completed, so let's move on to an Honorable Dead. What you need to do, you need to come back to the ship. 
you need to read some of the markings on the ship and one marking it is pretty much unclear whose name is on there but we will find out by doing this quest so stay tuned in order to solve this one you do enjoy building your ships Goodmund, even if they're not going anywhere hmm. I see people have been carving the names of the dead onto the hall. Hake, Asa, Aslog. These are names I haven't heard since my youth. We lost many on that evil night. Sven, a big man with a fine touch. He left his mark on many of us. Dag, a fighter until the end. I wouldn't call him a good man, but his bravery could not be denied. There are my parents. Rasta. She traded her life for a child. I will make sure it was worth it. Varin. He gave his life to the Raven Clan. May the gods honor his sacrifice. That is for the old father to judge. Strange. This name has no message to honor it. Kaf. It's not a name I know. Goodman. You know someone named Kaf? No. It's the one name not carved into the wood, only scribbled in charcoal. Did you see who wrote it? Maybe. Someone I didn't know came by earlier. Limping and staggering. Like he was on his last legs. Didn't see his face. And you didn't speak to him? He didn't speak to me. He went that way, if you're interested. I don't like unanswered questions so close to home. If the stranger was lame, he couldn't have gotten far. Alright, so that was actually pretty awesome story-wise. I really like that. A rune of protection paid in blood is drawn upon our longhouse. Such a deed must be rewarded. Take some tokens from yeah, the Yeah, three week. Three week event. Ooh, 100 tokens, nice. The path for this quest starts from your great hall and it is coming right over here. The Roman ruin settlement building. And from here, we need to follow the markings to the bridge, well, under the bridge, right, and from there here. to the cliffs. So, let's Something see, let's see. Here. Yeah, interact. Dust. He placed his hand here. Maybe leaned on it for support. Alright. There we are. This may be the end to this stranger's saga, unless dead men can tell tales. This is our man. His gnarled fingers are black with cold dust. He wrote something down before he passed. I alone saw the attack from across the West River. If not for my warning, they'd all be dead. He was a lookout on the West River. There must be some place with a better view. And yeah, look at this to do in the settlement. Well, pretty much nothing but still. Anyway, anyway. Uh, he's under the bridge by the path. I'm stuck trying to find the last clue in the Hooger realm. Oh! So you are way ahead of me. Have a look, Sunan. So there we go, there we go. So fifty meters, thirty, twenty. <coughs> this was no campfire. The monk has been here. The air is perfumed with this sweetly sour smoke. If the monk smoke can let me see the unseen, perhaps it will reveal some. Yeah, perhaps. Mm. 
there is one all right can we see anything not available come on that can definitely be something so let's see That was weird. Gods have seen a broken arm ring like this once before. When Stierbjorn exiled a man from Fornbro. Alright, the last clue. So which way? I I think it might have to do something with the other side of the river or this smoking boat yep definitely 9 out of 10 for me too but yeah for real this is taking the victor victory from That was chilling. But taking the victory from all the festivals by far. Alright, so here. Last clue, I think. Spear. Weapons were abandoned here. They were good quality. A kind worn by mercenaries, not peasants. A great battle was fought here. All right, one more clue. And listen. Oh, lol, do we have to keep? But actually, this is showing us the path. Um, yep, definitely, definitely. So just follow out the smoke. Ooh, they are burning Uba's ship. Amir. With mercenaries coming by land, he'd had no time to reach the others. So he raised the alarm by burning Uba's ship. Uba would have been furious. He probably blamed Kaf for the attack and left him behind when the great army moved on. So let me say, the story of this festival is just a wow. Now that I've uncovered Calf's tail, I'll write a good ship. Across the veil with the help of your herfs. I saw through Calf's eyes and learned his tale. Calf saved his people and will be honored. What do you see when you look into the veil? To see what I see would drive you mad. Ask not about my visions. 
and I will not ask after yours. Calf saved his settlement. All right, the story is pretty amazing. And after completing this quest, let's see how many tokens we are going to get. Been righted, giving peace to our dead. You have really risen to the occasion, Eivor. Come claim your full reward. So, 800 XP and 200 tokens. It is now for the gods to judge and for the fates to decide. Ooh. Approaches. Grim Reader approaches. So let's see, let's see. All falls into place. The pattern comes into focus. Does it now? A rune of protection writ large on the longhouse. The restless put to rest. And a people prepared for the hunt. I think you're less mad than you let on, monk. But I have to disappoint you. There'll be no hunt. Will there not? Even now, powerful forces gather. We're not out of the woods yet. The gods are angry. I'll never doubt you again, uncle. Did we do something wrong? What does this mean? The wild hunt. Everyone, listen. The Wild Hunt will not come for us this night. How do you know that? Because I've seen the courage and skill of our people. We've come together, Norse and Saxon alike, to meet great challenges. And because I know that when people are united and strong, they earn the respect of the gods! Power! <laughs> The gods are with us. So, that was everything you need to know about this festival, every solution, every activity, and so on. But for now, I really want to thank my channel members, aka the Elite Wolf Pack, also known as members of the channel, top donators of the channel, you are really helping me. Also, huge shout out to Lena, who gifted a channel membership in my challenge reset live. So, big shout out to Lena. If you want to become part of the elites, there's a join button below this video, so consider joining to get some extra perks, like custom emojis, early access to some of my videos, just like this one. But for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications, so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one. Skatha. Over and up and bye bye.